Alaskas, Bigfoot, the story of Portlock, the Alaska ghost town, allegedly abandoned because of a killer Bigfoot. Portlock, Alaska is rumored to be home to a Sasquatch-like beast known as the Nanty Knack that scared off the town's inhabitants in the early 20th century. On the southern coast of Alaska, a mining tunnel, rubble, and rusted cannery equipment are all that remains of the village of Portlock. The residents of this shipping and canning port abandoned Portlock around 1950 in favor of towns built closer to the new Alaska Route State Highway. Portlock, nestled on the southern edge of the Kenai Peninsula along Port Chatham Bay, was no longer practical as a place to call home. At least, that's the official story. Urban legends, on the other hand, claim the residents fled in mass from Portlock because of a huge, hairy, half-man, half-beast who started stalking and attacking residents of the town. The beast, reminiscent of Bigfoot or Sasquatch, was known to the locals as Nantinak. The term Nantinak, Nantinuk, came from the native Alaskan Denaina word Nantina. This literally translates as those who steal people. Nantinak was rumored to be responsible for dozens of mysterious deaths and disappearances of town inhabitants from the early 1900s until the town was abandoned in the 1950s. So, what actually happened in Portlock? The official history of Portlock, Alaska. Portlock's story begins around 1786, when Captain Nathaniel Portlock of the British Royal Navy passed through and praised the area. The town took his name. However, it didn't start to grow until the dawn of the 20th century when a cannery for salmon was built. The village was small, with just a handful of residents made up of fishermen, lumbermen, miners, and cannery workers, largely of Russian and Alaska native descent. By 1921, Portlock had grown enough to open a post office, but within 30 years the town was abandoned as its residents moved to nearby places like Nunwalik and Soldovia. In 1950, its final death knell rang with the shuttering of its post office. Portlock became a ghost town. Officially, people left because it was out of the way of the new highway. Unofficially, they fled a monster who had terrorized them for decades. Shortly after Portlock, Alaska was established around 1900s. Creepy stories about the town began to spread. In 1905, all the Native American workers at the cannery left the town because of something in the woods, though they returned the next year and the next several decades saw several unsettling incidents in and around Portlock. In the 1920s, Anchorage Press reports that rumors began to spread of a creature hanging around a nearby mine, as well as sightings of trees which apparently had been ripped out of the ground by their roots. Then in 1931, a logger named Andrew Kamluck died a mysterious death. Kamluck was purportedly struck over the head with a huge piece of logging equipment, something far too heavy for a human to pick up. And though there was blood on a nearby crane, Kamluck was found 10 feet away from it. There were also a report of hunters who'd come across 18-inch footprints while tracking a moose. They reported that they found signs of a struggle where the grass had been matted down, then only the deep tracks of the man-like animal departing toward the high fog-shrouded mountains. It was as if something had killed the moose and then dragged it off. And it wasn't only moose that seemed to inexplicably disappear. Alaska Magazine reports that a school teacher who taught in the area in the 1940s recalled that a few cannery workers vanished while hunting sheep and bears. Eerily, one of their bodies was later purportedly found mutilated and dismembered in a local lagoon. Over the decades, stories like these allegedly terrified the residents of Portlock. One by one, they began to flee the town for safer pastures. We left our houses in the school and started all new here in Nanwalik. Melania Kale, who was born in Portlock in 1934, told the Homer Tribune. Over a long period of time, she explained, something had terrorized the town's residents to the point that they fled. Alaska's Bigfoot, the Tornit. Back in the old times, when Baffin Island was still known as Nanatsi Armiet, Nunat Salmiut, and before European influence, the Inuit people lived near the coast of Kangjitualuk. They were master kayak builders and survived by means of subsistence. They were excellent hunters, regularly bringing in seals and whales to feed the people in their villages. They were not the only people living on the island, though. They lived under the shadow of fear with a tribe of much bigger and aggressive people. Their way of living was different than their Inuit counterparts, as they could not build kayaks, tan hides, or preserve food in the traditional ways of the north. These people are known as the Tornit, Tornit and possessed not only a larger stature but extraordinary strength. 
They would build houses out of stones and boulders that were much too large for any Inuit person to lift. These creatures, although human-like, are not human at all. With long arms and legs, they are more like a large ape or Neanderthal. Although they are bipedal in nature, they would still be mistaken for a bear at a distance, due to their hairy appearance. Despite their largely physical advantages over a regular man, the Tornet have exceedingly poor eyesight, which hinders their ability to hunt. They often smell like ghastly rotting flesh at worst, and at best as if they have been freshly sprayed by a skunk. This concept also connects them largely to the creature of the southern United States known as the skunk ape.